Hello, I am Dr. Deepthi and we are learning different concepts from maths under the heading D Creations Mathematics. Our focus is on linear algebra. Now there are two key concepts in linear algebra namely eigenvector and eigenvalue. In the previous episode we already got introduced to these two concepts and we saw how eigenvector doesn't change its direction. Now we had also seen this equation AV is equal to lambda V where A is basically a n by n matrix, V is a vector and lambda is the eigenvalue. If you remember we had called it a scaling factor there. Now if we take this equation further and rewrite it in the form that this lambda v we take it to the left hand side of the equal to sign so that this becomes a v minus lambda v is equal to 0. But lambda into v can be rewritten as lambda into i which is identity matrix into v is equal to 0. And now here if you take out v as common what you are left with is a minus lambda i into v is equal to 0. Now if you recall the concept of equations if this v is non-zero and if this particular equation a minus lambda i into v is equal to 0 should have a solution the necessary condition is that determinant of this term a minus lambda i has to be 0. Now when you take this necessary condition it leads us to characteristic equation of this particular matrix A where this is since it's an n by n matrix we can think of it as an nth order polynomial in lambda. So when you open this when you solve the determinant it is going to lead you to a nth order polynomial with n roots and obviously what are the roots? The eigenvalues are the roots. Now in order to understand it better we will take a numerical example. Let us take the matrix A where the elements in row 1 are 1 3 and elements in row 2 are 2 2 and we know now that eigenvalues of this particular matrix will be given by the characteristic equation determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0. Now since this is a 2 by 2 matrix i is also of the order 2. So it's as good as multiplying lambda to the identity matrix 1 0 0 1. Now the non-diagonal elements are anyways 0. So they don't make any difference to this particular non-diagonal values of A when you subtract it but the diagonal values are now going to become lambda and lambda. So when you essentially subtract lambda i from the matrix A you will get it as 1 minus lambda, 3 remains as it is, 2 remains as it is, 2 minus lambda and of course we are taking its determinant. If you are not very sure about determinant, you are advised to watch the previous episodes under Decreations Mathematics where it describes what and how a determinant is taken. So here we multiply these two terms so that gives us 1 minus lambda into 2 minus lambda minus of 3 through 6 is equal to 0. Just take a product and this is going to give you lambda square this is minus 2 lambda minus lambda that means minus 3 lambda and then even if you get plus 2 here you have to subtract 6 from it so you get minus 4 so the equation is lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 4 is equal to 0 and you can factorize it to get lambda minus 4 into lambda plus 1 is equal to 0. Those of you who want to check this again, pause the video, try to factorize on your own or otherwise multiply this and see whether you get the previous equation. Alright, so 
Finally, what we have got is lambda minus 4 into lambda plus 1 is equal to 0. So, this gives us two roots, namely plus 4 and minus 1, and they are the values of lambda. So, this equation has two eigenvalues, or in other words, I would say that this matrix A has two eigenvalues, namely plus 4 and minus 1. So this is again one more video on this topic and we will be going for many more videos on this topic. Thank you.